Hello all, welcome back to Current Affairs Settler Series. I'm Guna Madhivanan from Offices IAS Academy. Friends, in this video, we are going to discuss our next Current Affairs Settler topic that is regarding Aditya L1 mission. Friends, please watch my previous video where I have discussed in detail about the structure of Sun. All the basics I have covered in the previous video, Aditya L1 mission aims to study about Sun. Right? So, have clarity on the basics and then come to this Aditya topic. So on September 2nd, India has launched our first exclusive solar orbiter mission that is Aditya mission. So in PSLV, in Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, in PSLV rocket, we have sent a spacecraft which contains seven payloads. So in simple terms, it contains seven instruments. So we have sent a spacecraft to study the sun, atmosphere and other items which I will list out in detail. Right. So that mission has seven payloads. That mission we have sent through PSLV rocket on 2nd of September. So this Aditya mission aims to study the solar wind, which aims to study the solar flare which aims to study the coronal mass ejection. Right? So we explained the solar wind, the outermost layer of the sun, that is the corona, which extends in the form of solar wind. The solar wind will flow at 400 kilometers per second. Lot of plasma, protons, electrons, neutrons will be released at huge quantities. Almost 1 million tons of plasma will be released in one second. Right? So, solar wind carries all those plasma at 400 kilometers per second. We discussed in the previous video. Solar flare, sudden explosions of energy. Why it is happening, we are not able to understand. Coronal mass ejection, sudden huge explosion of plasma, which will be equivalent to millions of hydrogen bombs getting exploded simultaneously, which is happening at different time periods in sun. Why it is happening? Puzzle. We do not know what is the answer. Likewise, look at the temperature. The temperature, the core temperature of the sun is 1.5 crore degree Celsius. Then slowly from 1.5 crore degree Celsius, slowly the temperature comes down to 6000 degree Celsius. And when you come to the outermost layer of the sun, the temperature again rises. It reaches 1 million degree Celsius. So what is the reason? Why the temperature falls and again it rises, we do not know. What are the particles released in the atmosphere from the sun, we do not know. We need to understand the radiation, the magnetic field created by the sun. There is so much of puzzles we need to understand. Only when we understand, we can protect our space assets. These electromagnetic radiation, sudden explosion of energy, increase in the release of plasma, all these affects our space assets in the atmosphere. Our communication systems getting affected. Our astronomers, they are also facing huge amount of threat. So to protect our space assets, right? And to better understand what is happening in the sun, so we have sent this Aditya L1 mission. It is going to find answers for all these puzzles. Now, we have to understand what is this L1? Because whenever we say about this Aditya mission, we also add Aditya L1 mission. So what is that L1 mission? See, L1 is a special location in space. L1 is a special location in space. So before explaining about this L1, let me explain about Lagrange point. Lagrange point. So Lagrange point refers to a place between two masses or two objects where the gravitational pull, the gravitational tugging is actually zero. I will explain. So let us say there are two objects. Let's say this object is having a gravitational attraction till this place. And this object is having gravitational attraction till this place. 
So assume guna is standing somewhere here. If guna is standing here, I will be attracted towards this object. If guna is standing here, then I will be attracted towards this object. But if guna is standing somewhere here, at this point of guna stands, where the gravitational pull of both the objects gets cancelled and guna will not be attracted, he will stay there. Right? I hope you are able to understand this example. Now we will take it to earth and sun. Right? So here let's say we have sun. Now here we have earth. Now earth will be having some gravitational attraction. To a point it will have gravitational attraction. If guna is standing here, guna will be attracted towards earth. Similarly, the sun also will be having a gravitational influence. So if guna is somewhere standing here, guna will be attracted towards sun. But if guna is standing at this point, so this is sun, this is earth. If guna is standing at this point, then guna will not be attracted either by sun or earth. This is the point where the gravitational pull of both sun and earth gets cancelled. And that unique point is called as Lagrange point. So a French mathematician, Joseph Louis Lagrange. So he was the one who found such specific points in the space where the gravitational pull between earth and sun gets cancelled. Right. So what are those five points? We'll try to understand. So let us uh, say, uh, Earth is somewhere here, right? This is Earth. Now, Sun is here. And do you know what is the distance between uh, the Sun and Earth? It is 150 million kilometers. The distance between Sun and Earth is 150 million kilometers, right? So now, we have five special points. We have five special points where the center of I mean, the gravitational pull between the earth and sun gets cancelled. That point is called as Lagrange point. We have five special points, five special Lagrange points. One is somewhere here, L1. Another point is somewhere here, L2. Another point is somewhere here, L3. And we have L4 as well as L5. So these points L1, L2, L3, L4, L5, these are five locations. These are five locations. So if Guna is standing here, Guna will stand there. Guna will not be attracted either by earth or sun. If Guna is standing here, Guna will neither be attracted by either earth or sun. Same here, Guna is standing here. He will not be attracted by earth or sun or if guna is standing here he will not be attracted by earth or sun these are five special points l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 are five special points between the earth and sun where the gravitational pull of earth and sun gets cancelled so we have launched aditya l1 mission on september 2nd right in pslv rocket we have, we have sent and that spacecraft carrying seven instruments, that spacecraft will be placed in this L1. So this L1 is this L1 is roughly 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth. The distance between Earth and Sun is 150 million kilometers. That is 15 crore kilometers. The distance between Earth and Sun. And the distance between Earth and L1, that Lagrange point one, that Earth and L1, that is. 1.5 million that is 15 lakh kilometers. So from earth we are keeping that Aditya L1 spacecraft 15 lakh kilometers away from the earth. So that is that Aditya is going to stand here and from here Aditya is going to capture or it is going to study what is going on in the sun particularly in the outer atmosphere of sun. Now you may ask a question. There are five different points. Why Aditya is kept on L1? Why we are going to place Aditya in L1? See, just observe this diagram. If we are going to keep it in L2, if we are going to keep it in L2, then see our objective is to study the sun. Here, when I keep it in L2, 
the earth is going to block the radiations coming from the sun. So if I keep it in L3, yes, I can study about sun, but L3 is at a far distance. It's very difficult for us to take the spacecraft and place it at L3. It is not practical. Okay, we can keep it at L4 or L5, but we will be getting the partial visibility of sun. So L1 is the sweet spot of all the Lagrange point. L1 is a sweet, sweet spot where we can, from that point, we can have a complete visuals of sun and we are keeping it at L1 so that Aditya mission, that spacecraft will neither be attracted by earth or nor by the sun. So it is going to stay there and peacefully it is going to observe what is happening in the outer atmosphere, why there is coronal mass ejection, why there is sudden uh, eruption of plasma, solar flares, everything it is going to observe and it is going to find the puzzle, it is going to find the reason behind the puzzle, that the temperature puzzle, the sudden eruption puzzle, everything Aditya mission aims to find out and answer. And this is going to be very significant because this understanding will help us to protect a lot of our space assets and it is going to help us to further our understanding about the mystery of universe, the mystery of sun, the mystery of life itself. Now you may also have a doubt that many of our satellites is not kept in L1 and all. It is kept at a distance of 400 to 1000 kilometers. We say it as low earth orbit. Our communication satellites are placed at roughly 37,000 kilometers from our uh, earth. That is called as geosynchronous orbit. Okay. So put it simply, most of our satellites are placed within 37,000 kilometers from earth. So why don't we place the spacecraft in the lower earth orbit or within the 37,000 kilometers? Why don't we place that spacecraft and why don't we study that sun? You might get a common sensical doubt. You have to understand the earth atmosphere has a lot of protective shields like ozone. We have a lot of protective shields. These atmospheric protective shields will prevent, filter out a lot of radiations coming from the sun. So if we are going to keep our Aditya spacecraft in low earth orbit or simply if I am going to place that in 1000 kilometers or if I am going to keep that in 10,000 kilometers, 30,000 kilometers above the earth, if I am going to place our Aditya mission, the spacecraft in that distance, what will happen? Our earth atmosphere will filter out most of the harmful radiations coming from the sun. So we will not have a complete holistic understanding about the sun. That is why we are keeping at a farer distance. We are keeping at almost 15 lakh kilometers away from the earth. Right? And that is why we have chosen Lagrange points. So two advantages. When we keep it in Lagrange points, that Saditya mission will not be disturbed by the gravitational pull of earth or sun. Second advantage, when we keep at that farther distance, then we will, the mission can absorb all the radiations coming from the sun. It can analyze, it can find out a solution for all the puzzles which I have explained before, right? So here I have given the slides regarding the Aditya mission. You can pause the video, you can make notes. I have given about the L1, I have explained about the objectives of Aditya L1 mission, right? So why uh, we have to study the sun from space? Just now I explained that information I have given here. Then what is this Lagrange point? Right, this Lagrange point we have chosen L1. That L1 is 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth, 15 lakh kilometers away from Earth. We have launched this mission on September 2nd. Don't think on September 3rd we will reach that. The Aditya mission will take at least four months. It will take four months to reach that L1 point. So, once after reaching on September 2nd, it was launched. Then, for four months from there, we will be reaching the L1 point and from which we will start making all the observations. Right. So yes, significance of Lagrange point. So based on our discussion, I have given a multiple choice question, find out the right answer and give it in the comment section. I hope the video was useful. So again, I will meet you with another important, interesting current affairs topic. Till then, bye. Take care.